So let's find the least common multiple, the LCM for five and six. And so when I think about the LCM, least common multiple, I'm thinking about the smallest multiples that these two numbers here, five and six, share. Another way you could think of it is a number that both of these go in evenly, but the lowest common number that they go into evenly. So we write the multiples for five and six, look at the common ones, choose the least common multiple. So I like to start with the larger number first. So we could say six plus six is 12, plus six is 18, plus six is 24, plus six is 30. And I'm gonna stop there because I know five goes into 30. So let's write the multiples for five. Five plus five is 10, 10 plus five is 15, 15 plus five is 20, and we have 25. And if we add five more, we get 30. And there we go. That's the common multiple, the number that five and six both go into evenly. And it's the smallest number because it's the first one we came across. So in answer to our question, the LCM for five and six, that is 30. You could also think about these multiples as one times five gives us five, two times five is 10, three times five is 15, and so on. Or you can just add them up like I did either way. There are other ways to find the LCM like prime factorization, but for numbers like five and six that are pretty small, it's a pretty good way to do it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.